Hey there from Bug Eye Guy. This is a one of a kind Bug Eye we've just finished. It will be shipping next week. And this one is basically a no speed Bug Eye with no horsepower. This is a shift extension that's just there for fun because this car is a display only. It will never drive again. It honestly was never going to drive again anyway. We found it in the bushes in Boston and it was rusty and long since given up for dead, but we were able to do the bodywork and paint it in Imran so it would be most durable. We put in LED lights underneath. That's basically its entire power plant. It's what looks like a flux capacitor is a roll of LED tape and a constant color change effect. This car was specced by interior designers for a 300 unit roughly condo building in Harrison, New Jersey where this car will be delivered next week and permanently parked in what they are calling a speakeasy where people can take selfies and play with it. And that is one unusual application, but we were delighted to have an opportunity to participate. And our mission was to build a bug eye that would be durable and would survive a lot of human traffic. It's basically like a playground toy going to get beat on. So we, uh, put in a shift tower and a nice wooden knob to match the steering wheel which is a little tighter than normal deliberately so people won't move it too much we put in a an anchored key fob so that you can't remove the key or the key fob and we put in lots of fun things to pull and play with a lot like those preschool toys that we all started with and so there's a lot of uh, tactile fun here these cables are all stop nutted so that they can't pull out and the gauges all are somewhat sprite derivative or uh, from later sprites. We also were worried that people would grab the windshield pillars, so we filled the holes. We put in these Brooklyn screens for greater durability for the application at hand. We put on these Hardura mats so that we have maximum uh, utility and again durability. We put in a wider leather seat so that the leather would take abrasion better and it's a wider, easier to get in seat with a smaller steering wheel, all with the specific goal of accommodating lots of guests. We also put a film on this edge here anticipating kicking from people getting in and out. We took off the door seal so that we didn't have one more maintenance item that people could scrape or chafe or pull off. All of these things went into our planning. We covered all the cockpit trim with vinyl so that we wouldn't have fingerprints and fading or oxidizing. We used Imron paint for maximum durability. We put the wire wheels on, of course, just because they look cool. We took out the glass uh, domed Lucas beehives because they can fall off if people bump into them. We put a locking gas cap on so that nobody would steal the cap or mess with it. The Love Me plate was custom requested by the designers. We put these leather straps on and we pinned the bonnet so that it can't open anymore. And basically we built what will be hopefully a lifetime display that can endure a lot of foot traffic and a lot of fun. Our favorite part really is these LED lights that we would never use on a bug eye, but for this application, just perfect. It gives it the feel of an old Wurlitzer jukebox that can glow in the corner. You see the colors shifting underneath the car from red to purple to orange to green, etc. And then we wound up all the tape in the grill there for that spool to give it the fusion reactor effect. Is it a bug eye from the future or from the past? You decide. Anyway, one more very unique car There'll never probably be another one like it, and that's what we're building this week here at Bug Eye Guy.